In smartphone ads and marketing material, we're told that fast charging is a super handy and cool feature to have on our devices. And to many people, including myself, it's super handy to have when you've forgotten to charge your phone overnight and quickly need a top up before heading out for the day. I've already created a video on why this fast charging tech is killing your battery and therefore your phone a lot faster, but I want to investigate several types of rapid replenishing and see what's what. So hey guys, my name's Ryan Thomas and these are my findings. Starting by stating the six technologies we'll be looking at, here you can see what we've got. Apple's Quick Charge, Qualcomm's Quick Charge 3.0, Oppo's SuperVOOC, OnePlus's Dash Charge, OnePlus's Warp Charge, and Huawei's Supercharge. I tried to make the list as up-to-date and as widespread across the industry as possible, but some are harder to find information for than others, so sorry if I've left any out. I thought I'd first compare them based on five stats. Wattage, voltage, current, effective charging speeds, along with their claim charging speeds as represented by the phones using them. So right off the bat, it's painfully easy to see who's winning here and why. With 3,700 milliamp hours in just 35 minutes, it's absolute madness that is the Oppo SuperVOOC technology. It's a 50 watt technology providing 10 volts at 5 amps and is widely praised by many including Sir Martin of TechAlter. It's a shame that many Oppo phones don't make it here to the UK as this kind of charging speed would be ideal for me right now. In second place is Huawei with its supercharge pushing 40 watts, still double its competition in certain areas. It provides a slightly lower amperage resulting in less heat, but keeps up well despite its 20% wattage loss over the faster winning standard and charging a Mate 20 Pro to 70% in just half an hour. OnePlus's two technologies take third and fourth place respectively, with their superior warp charge featured in the 6T McLaren edition, pushing 30 watts to the device with the highest current here at 6 amps. This would typically result in a red hot device, however OnePlus has a trick up its sleeve, its very clever charging brick that keeps most of the heat in it instead of the phone. Dash charge is still up there with a 50% drop in wattage, but only due to the drop in current, not in voltage, still able to charge a 6T to 50% in just 30 minutes. In joint last place are Apple's 18W charging and Qualcomm's outdated QC 3.0. And before all of you have a go at me, the reason I'm including this slightly older tech is because I just couldn't find this level of detail and information on the newer 4.0 in a timely manner available on very few phones as it is. 50% in 40 minutes isn't bad, but it's a far cry from Oppo's SuperVOOC, and it really does show you how far ahead the Chinese are in this division of the smartphone development. Now, as much as I absolutely love fast charging technology, I mean, come on guys, it's super handy when you're in a pinch, and it's honestly embarrassing the amount of time that I forget to charge my phone. But I can be an advocate for fast charging if you're wanting to keep your phone for longer than two years without replacing the battery or the phone at least, as a lot of technologies will heat up the cells of the battery, causing them to die quicker. However, OnePlus is renowned for doing quite well in its battery longevity since it uses a smart adapter, resulting in a cooler device all around when charging. We've yet to see the effects of many of these new standards because, well, they haven't been around long enough, but just be wary if you want to keep a fresh battery for a long time. I've used OnePlus's Dash Charge more than any of these other standards, and I can vouch for it personally, but as with all tech, your mileage may vary. And with that, I want to conclude our winner as being Oppo's SuperVOOC, a super fast technology available on a very small amount of phones. Anyway guys, that's been about it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Please do like, dislike, comment, and subscribe if you're new around here to never miss a video like this one. Also check out all my links, they'll all be in the description as well. I wanna give a massive shout out to my patrons, you guys are awesome. And I hope you at least learned something from this video. Anyway, I've been Ryan Thomas, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.